Thanks, Monica. Well, this is most likely the image you have of getting fit in the new year. A busy gym, rows of treadmills and weight benches. Well, that is just one aspect of fitness, and it's not a requirement to get toned. Today, we're bringing back our Workout Wednesday series, and we're welcoming in a local fitness pro, Benji Williford, with Chain Reaction and an assistant with him this morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. It's an honor. And thanks to Brandon for coming with me as well. Okay, well, we'll get to him yeah. in just a bit. But to begin with, we wanted to talk about kind of a funny story that happened to you that sums up what you guys do in your yes. gym. You had a salesman visit you, and, and tell us about that. Yeah, so I was um, prepping for a class, and a sales guy just stopped by. And if you've been to my studio or you've looked at my Facebook page, you'll notice that in the pictures, it's pretty bare in there. So he walked in, and, and he saw that was a fitness facility or studio. And then he walked in and he explained that he was a salesman, but then he immediately looked around and goes, um, I don't think you're really interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> and I said, you're right, I'm kind of not. That's not what I'm about. Um, I train on body weight primarily, and then secondarily, maybe like TRX or kettlebells, but it's body weight first. You're going to yeah. demonstrate some of your moves for us, but first, a lot of people struggle with motivation and with keeping. They might make the New Year's goal, but how do we sustain it? Well, you know, and the thing is, if you set a date, New Year's, and, you've, and you force that, you're already setting yourself up for failure. You have to have this mindset and you have to make it decide the reason, your purpose of why you're really wanting to make that change. And it has to start here first. Okay, the body's a tool on how we do that. But you have to make up your mind and you have to maybe decide on something that's really important to you. Maybe something that really inspires you that you want to do. You want to maybe do a pull up. You've never done a pull up before, but you're carrying excess body weight. And of course, if you slim down a little bit and then you work on your strength, that's going to work, right? You're going to, you're going to achieve that goal at some point. Uh, and through that, of course, you need good, clean nutrition to lose the weight. Always. And then, of course, exercises that support working the whole body and not just the back. Well, actually, pull-up is a total body as well, but to work the body three-dimensionally, I believe it's very important to work out three-dimensionally. The body is meant to move in so many different directions. Okay, well, why don't we get to it? Show us okay. what you're talking about. So, uh, one thing, the exercise we're about to do, I use my clients quite a bit, but um, it's a good complement to the burpee. Everybody knows a burpee. Everybody's heard about it. Everybody's seen a burpee. So, just referencing the burpee, assuming that people know this, uh, the burpee moves in one direction, and it does move your body, total body, uh, your body, uh, workout total body, but mm -hmm. Um, with this, this could be a good compliment because it's going to take out a different plane. Yep. So us. Brandon's going to start with his uh, his feet about shoulder width apart, and then he's going to bring his right hand down and he's going to hip hinge first. That's what's important. And then he's going to bend his knees, and then he's going to place his whole palm to the floor and he's going to thread his right leg through. He's going to place his butt cheek to the mat, and then he's going to come all the way up, and then he's going to alternate. Yep. We're not going to hop just yet, Brandon. That's mm -hmm. the, we're okay. building really fast. So we'll go uh, then left side, so we're going to alternate. So we'll go left side and then thread. Yeah, and we we'll won't get our whole palm down as we do this. Now we'll alternate back to the right. Good. And where are you feeling this? Is, is this in the, the outer thigh well, area? Well, a couple of things you're getting. You're getting your whole leg, and you're bending your leg in its fullest deep flexion. It's very important. So he's getting this deep uh, knee bend, deep hip crease for mobility. He's stabilizing his whole shoulder girdle. He's rotating, so he's working his obliques. And then if he grabs, grabs speed, he's going to get this his heart rate ah, up. One so exercise, now, lots of benefits. Uh, well, and we're going to go <laughs> to two more variations if we can. Okay. So uh, now he's going to add a half turn, which he was going to add immediately because Brandon's advanced. He likes to just go for it right away. So now we're going to go. Now just alternate. Do what you know to do. Just do your half turn. Good. And then half turn. Boom. That side. Yup. And go. Yup. And okay. then half turn. Make sure you get your whole palm down. Good. And then so you can see how you're going to get your whole by one more. Good. And then if he wanted to, if he was building his whole prag or his whole workout here, he could actually do a full turn, full 360, right? Oh. Knee tuck, so the sky's the limit, right? But you can see how the burpee is going to work you one direction. This is a good compliment because the things that I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, you still have your, your uh, hip crease, your deep, deep bend here, your knees. You're starting to get your shoulder girdle a little differently. You're rotating around. So, and then and also you can the heart build rate. build up. When you're a beginner, you start with the first stage and, and work your way towards. Correct. The first stage would be touching the floor, working on your hip hinge and your knee bend, right? And then also, which uh, I can demo quickly, but also for a beginner, this would be your first part. And if you're not ready to thread through here just yet, what you might want to do is you can work in a modified side plank. Notice how I have this bottom foot down, top foot. 
So now I'm working on getting mobility in my hip here. I'm pressing the back foot down here. I'm getting mobility in the ankle. I'm stabilizing the shoulder girdle, prepping it so that I can start working it to build it into the variation that Brandon did. All right, wonderful. Well, we are feeling inspired this morning, I thanks to the both of you. Thank you.